So yesterday was Shabbat and what happened yesterday morning is my dad and I, as we were getting coffee, we kind of just kind of stumbled into this conversation about Yahuwah, Yahusha HaMashiach and the different revelations that um, Ruach HaKodesh has given us, you know, in our different seasons. And that is something that happens quite often. It's never something that's planned. It's something that just kind of happens like yesterday morning. <laughs> so while we were having that conversation, one of the things that Ruach HaKodesh said to me was, when you are born again, you are resurrected from death into life, Ruachly. So I know to some people they're like, okay, well, duh. <laughs> but let me explain to you why that was just such a, a very powerful revelation to me. For one, it goes right along with the theme that Ruach HaKodesh has been speaking to me in this um, season, the twofold theme. The first theme being that the Ruach realm is the dominant realm because Abba Yahuwah is spirit. He's Ruach. So everything that happens, happens first Ruachly, and then the physical is the manifestation of what happened Ruachly. What happened Ruachly. Not what's happening Ruachly, what happened Ruachly. And then that Hasatan gets us to focus on the physical because it blinds us to what's going on Ruachli, or what has gone on Ruachli, I should say. So, and then immediately Ruach HaKodesh brought a scripture reference to mind. So it's Yehukanon chapter 11. I'm going to read starting from verse 1, but verses 21 to 26 are actually the meat of what he wanted me to focus on. There's a lot of meat in this chapter, but we're not focusing on that right now. We're going to focus on verses 21 to 26. So, now a certain man was sick named Eleazar. Eleazar is the Hebrew name for Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Miriam and her sister Martha. It was that Miriam which anointed Adonai with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Ele Eleazar was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Adonai, behold, he, he whom you love is sick. When Yahushua heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of Elohim, that the son of Elohim might be glorified thereby. So he's setting setting you up for a lesson, okay? <laughs> um, now Yahushua loved Aleph Tov, Martha and her sister Eleazar, and Yahushua is Aleph Tov. Um, when he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that said he to his Talmudim, let us go into the land of Yehud again. Yehud is Judea. His Talmudim say unto him, Rabbi, the Yahudim, Jews, of late sought to stone you and go you there again. Yehusha answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walks in the day, he stumbles not, because he sees the light of this world. But if a man walks in the night, he stumbles, because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Eleazar sleeps, but I go that I might that I may awake him out of sleep. So again, this whole time he's setting them up for that. Aha! He's setting them up for the lesson, okay? He's such a good teacher. Um, <laughs> then said his Talmudim, Adonai, if he sleeps, he shall do well. Howbeit Yahushua spoke of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking a rest and sleep. Then said Yahushua unto them plainly, Eleazar is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go in unto him. Then said Taom, or Thomas, which is called Didymus. Why does it say which is called? He's totally a person. Um, unto his fellow Talmudim, let us also go that we may die with him. Then when Yahushua came, he found that he had lain, he being Eleazar, in the grave for four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about fifteen stadion off. And many of the Yahudim came to Martha and Miriam to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Yahushua was coming, went and met him. But Miriam sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Yahushua, Adonai, if you had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever you will ask of Elohim, Elohim will give it to you. So she has faith. She just doesn't have understanding. So he's about to teach her. He's about to give her some clarity, some understanding. Yahushua said unto her, your brother shall rise again. 
So this is starting in verse 24, okay? So pay attention to what Martha says and then what Yahushua says in verse 25. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So she's talking about the second coming of Mashiach when the dead in Mashiach will rise first and those who of us who are alive and remain will be caught up in the clouds. She's talking about that. But listen to what he says. <laughs> Yahushua said unto her, I am the resurrection and life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? So I found, found that revelation quite powerful. Because what Ruach of Kadesh said to me in that moment was, when he come, when Yahushua comes back and this Caught, this catching up happens. He's coming back for those who have already been resurrected. Ruachali. Think about it. When Adam and Chua ate of the tree, uh, ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they died Ruachali. And every human being that's been born since then is born into the is born under the law of sin and death. You, you still with me? You following? We're born into the law of sin and death because we're born and shaped in iniquity. So we're born into sin. So as soon as we're born, we begin to die, right? So my, as my dad likes to put it, we are essentially the walking dead, okay? But what Yahushua is saying is, when he becomes your Adonai and your Savior, when you give your life to him, he resurrects you at that moment, Ruachalim. Think about Acts 2, what happened to the apostles. They were resurrected right then. He is saying that the resurrection is a spiritual resurrection, it's a Ruachal resurrection. Again, when he comes back, he's coming back for those who are spiritually, Ruachally resurrected. He's not coming back for dead people. He's not the Elohim of the dead, but the Elohim of the living. And I forgot to look up that scripture reference, but just so you know, I'm not pulling that out the side of my neck. I will find it and put it in the description below this video so you can go see for yourself that that it actually says that. But another good example, you remember when in the book of Revelation, when, excuse me, Yohakanan, wrote what Yahushua told him to write to the seven churches of Asia Minor. I'm sorry, that's my son. He fell asleep while I was making this video. I'm sorry. But you remember what he wrote to the seven churches of Asia Minor, right? Well, in chapter 3, you see what he says to the church of Sardis. Listen to this. And it happens, he says it in verse 1 of chapter 3. And unto the angel of the called out assembly in Sardis write, these things says he that has the seven Ruachoth, Ruachoth the spirits of Elohim, and the seven stars. I know your works, that you have a name, that you live. So he's saying, in other versions, it said you have a reputation of being alive. But in fact, you are dead. It says, and are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are already, I mean, that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before Elohim. So perfect in this sense is talking about complete. Not that you are without sin. <laughs> okay. Basically perfect, like I said, perfect means complete. So I have not found your works works complete before Elohim. Remember a left tav, therefore how you have received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief and you shall not know what hour I will come upon you. You have a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. He that overcomes the same shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not blot out his name out of the sefer of life, but I will confess his name before my Abba and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear a left tav what the Ruach says unto the called out assemblies. So here we have a church full of physically alive people that Yahusha told Yehakanan to call to tell them that they were actually dead. 
I know you have a reputation for being alive, but you're dead. He's literally telling them, you haven't received my life. You haven't received life through me. So you're, you're dead. I know you think you're alive, but you're not. Okay. And no, he wasn't talking to a building full of dead bodies. Well, physically dead bodies. Ruachly dead, but not physically dead. Video cut off. That's my cue to wrap this up. So just going back to you, Hukunan 11, verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. So when you give your life to him, you become, um, you are resurrected. Ruachali. When you are born again, you are resur resurrected Ruachali. That happens now. It does not happen when he comes back. When he comes back, that is the physical resurrection. But again, it happens Ruachali first. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go before this video cuts off because you have no idea. Like, it would not let me get back on here to finish the rest of this video. I guess... Some didn't want y'all to hear this. Anyway, on that note, it's severely late. I need to get my little one in bed who's asleep next to me on this couch. I've been rambling <laughs> for a minute. But I love you guys as always. Um, I hope that this made some type of sense to you. If not, comment section is always open. I'm not your teacher. Ruach Kadesh is. So I would always advise you to pray and ask him first. Because he is the spirit of revelation. <laughs> he will lead you into all truth. Um, but yeah. I have another video that I'm going to be making that... Yeah. Anyway. Love you guys. Shalom on the king.